Hello, Mary Alice with Five Lessons for the Heart. Just a short podcast on our journey to relationally knowing God. This one's going to be a little different because John 3.16 kept going over and over and over in my heart for two days and two nights. This is what I feel God wants me to do. I will quote his word, his divine self-expression to you, and then I went to Strong's Concordance, the original Greek, and I looked at Vine's dictionary and will express the very same word of God to you in those terms. So we began. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, as I went directly to the Greek and to the dictionary, I'm going to speak it this way to you. For God so loved. Well, for. Now, that's assigning a reason that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in this manner, in this way, loved, welcomed, dearly loved, regarded the welfare of and has a preference for the world. Yes, that would include the arrangement of stars, the universe, the circle of the earth. But the focus is on the human family, the ungodly multitude, the whole mass of men alienated from God, insomuch that On his own accord, God supplied what was necessary, his only begotten son, in order that all, any, each, every one that believes, thinks to be true, anyone who is persuaded of and places confidence in God's son should not perish. God forbid, never, in no wise, be lost, ruined, or destroyed. But to have, to hold, find oneself in such and such a condition, and that condition being eternal, never to cease life. But let's investigate that life. It's life as God has it. That which the Father has in himself and which he gave to the incarnate Son to have in himself. This life men became partakers of as they trust in God's Son. Therefore, we can say his life, the life as God has it, the life as his son has it, the life as Holy Spirit has it, is now the life of the believer. Someone needed to hear this today, so please consider sharing it. You never know who you might help. And it would be a joy to my heart if you would subscribe and select the notification button so we can stay in touch in this way.